Let's go back to Hampy and um, have a look at uh, star Starlight Bounce and some way of looking at a particular star or two in the sky up there somewhere in the universe in a dry place <laughs> someone the mountains sleeping over here I think oh I don't know what that is it might be Gabrielle asleep <laughs> but I don't think so okay radio what do we got we've got we're back in Hampi and we're by a river actually and um, we're trying to work out if there's more to it because we've got Pakistan in there somewhere but we're looking at Earth and the question how wide would you pin a star you'd use a couple and then you'd work out where you were but the stars have all shifted since they built that so I don't think they're in the same place. It might be a wee bit difficult these days. And also the sky is not as clear. But Star Trek, how wide does it leave a track? And if it hits the Earth, how big a spot does it make? Does it leave a band? So if we look at... We look at the code in Virupaksha Karnataka because the AAAA is stars and we've got Virupdrasana and that's starlight pressure and lasers. And this is like laser light through this, like a brick wall of nodals that the universe creates with starlight rhythms on an electronic wavelength, right? And so we've got it like a brick wall and we're, we're going like a laser and when it hits Earth it can't be a metre square, it must be bigger than that. It's energy from on high, right? Light energy. So we could use Chi, light energy on high, high in the sky. Ra it probably means that when the raven wobbles you get flooded in Karachi and it does and then what about this is the car Ra. let's look at K is it like a star and would it be to Paksha and would she and Sha go together because this would take you to China, wouldn't it? And we're going K to K, two stars, two stars. We're looking for two Ks, and we're looking at the Vir, because Vir is river, isn't it? R-I-V backwards, because it's not a river. But it's like a river. It's like a river trip. Our trip round the sun in the solar system. The Lambda ride is like a river trip. And they chose the trip from Ley to Srinagar on the upper reaches of the Indus River in Ladakh. And that was to take you to the star platform in Ladakh. Okay, so the Indus River was chosen to represent the Lambda ride around the sun, which is like a river ride. There's a river there, it's called the Indus River, it goes down, it's called the Indus. We've got K2 marked out, we've got two stars to mark it. You have to go to two stars, you have to go to Virupaksha in Karnataka because you have to go to a dry place and then you have to look at angles okay so how wide is it on these two particular stars now the K could be a laser and angles like sextants with stars couldn't it 
to measure things like that. And then we've got a map of India. There's Virupaksha in Karnataka and Karachi. And they thought it was about that wide once. And they would use the Indus. And they named it appropriately because we got flooding when we wobbled with the moon. Went past K2 into this area here. And then we got to the star viewing platform. Okay. And then you could have a really good look at the universe. And you could learn that going around the sun is like a river ride. It would be like going from later Srinagar on the Indus. And then the that distance there would be about how far we thought the laser would spread on the Earth's surface. Voila.